Hello and welcome to my channel, Country Rebel 9. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about the Champions League because last night both Manchester clubs got knocked out of the Champions League. Oh yes, now they're going to be playing Europa League football on a Thursday night, which um, could be a bit of a trouble for the City fans because, from what I know, they can't get Channel 5 up north, so I'm sure they're going to be a big rush for Sky TV and Virgin Media and all that. Um, it'll be okay for the United fans, because being in London and the South East, we can get Channel 5 down here. And of course, Paul, what, what, what's all this about old Fergie then? He, he's got a bit of the ump now, hasn't he? Well, he should have the ump anyway. I mean, losing to Basel. Come on, Basel. Who are they? Jesus Christ. It's been a very bad season. Like, City, you can understand. First time in the Champions League, I don't care, you know, they've got Mancini, or they've got, um, you know, some of the best players in the world. fact is, they're still playing their first time in Europe together, you know, in the Champions League together. So, you know, you, you can almost sort of forgive them. I don't care about the price tags, you can almost forgive them. But United, though, that group was the easiest group there. When that group was made, it's like, oh, Christ, look at it. Look at it, another easy group for United. But, of course, this isn't um, a case of United being struggling in Europe. They're struggling everywhere. In the league, they got knocked out of the Carling Cup by Crystal Palace. Now, I know some of you are going to say, well, yeah, but how many first-teamers in, were in the squad? Well, they had eight internationals in that squad when they lost against Palace. Eight. And how many of them players who played in Paris were playing the other night? Thank you. But also, you know, now they've got no tank tiny cut by a championship side. Premier League, they're struggling. Yes, they're picking up wins, but, you know, they're, they're not very convincing performances, and they're, they are pretty much against very poor sides. Teams that are struggling themselves. I mean, Aston Villa, come on. Um, Alex Matisse ain't exactly a fantastic manager, is he? And traditionally, his teams don't score a lot of goals. How many one, um, you know, single goals did Birmingham do last season? He hasn't got the best record. Um, you know, this all pretty much stems, you know, when you look at the start of the season, you know, I'd work pretty much flying. Some of the players are doing pretty well, like Ashley Young, who just disappeared now. Um, you know, ever since that 6-1 drumming by Man City, Fergie's admitted it. It haunts him. It's still haunting him. And you seem to think, as you crack, as you finally crack, as the so-called great man cracked, I think he has. I think he's lost it. I really do. I think this is the moment that everything will come... Well, I won't say it will come tumbling down. They'll still qualify for Champions League. But they won't win the title. They well, they're not going to win the Carling Cup. Uh, they're not going to win the Premiership. They're not going to win the FA Cup. They're not going to win nothing this season. They'll finish somewhere in the top four. No doubt about it. I'm not going to say they're going to finish outside. But they're going to finish somewhere in the top four. You've got Tottenham, I reckon, will finish second. With, don't know, Arsenal, Chelsea, Liverpool, Man United fighting for that last two spots. But it is amazing how our United have fallen from grace. This has been coming for the last couple of years now, actually. Last season, they only won the title because other teams were in transition. Were, you know, had their own problems. You had Chelsea, who had an ageing squad last season. A very ageing squad. You had Arsenal, who just imploded, you know, a young squad, no experience after that Carling Cup final defeat to Birmingham, they just imploded. Um, you had Liverpool, who, you know, it's well documented, their own um, problems at the start of the season, you know, Roy uninspiring Hodgson as a manager, with the Americans, you know, the, you know, Hitch, Hitch and Gillette, um, almost bringing the club to ruin, um, and then, you know, the great man, Kenny, taking over the reins after 
you know, the um, John Henry took over and he sought him. Um, you know, United were lucky last season to win the title. They were very lucky. They weren't, they weren't great. They were piss poor. And don't, you know, if fans, don't leave comments in the bottom saying, oh, it's only because we didn't replace Skulls. Skulls was a bit part player. He's been a bit part player for the last few seasons, the last three seasons. Giggs, bit part player. Yeah, all right, they were quality players in their day, and, you know, they probably would still command a small part in the United side today, but no, please. That's no excuse. The fact is, United have been riding their luck for the last few seasons now. Rooney, well, sorry. You had a chance to sell him a few years ago. You should have took it up. You should have took that offer and bought someone else in. See, this is what amazes me about United. United should be where City are financially. They should be out there spending fifty million pounds on players, you know, two hundred thousand pound wages to players. They should be having world class players coming because they've got the revenue. They're getting the revenue, but the problem is, it's the Glaciers. It's this huge mountain of debt that the Glaciers have lumped onto United. It's sucking the life out of United. All the money that's coming in are going out to pay their debts. And they're taking large sums of money out of there as well. Um, I don't know how true this is, but apparently, since the Glaciers have been there, they've taken something like 400 million out of the club for their own personal use. To prop up, was it the Buccaneers over in America? That is wrong. That is wrong. Um, now, I'm not a United fan, by any means. I hate them, and seeing them like this, and, you know, just, you, you're seeing the, they're coming off their pedestal, you know, they're coming off their pedestal now, and they're going to end up like how we were in the 90s, well, how we are now, but, um, but, you know, it's still, it's, I don't like to see United wipe off the map, much as I like to, because they are a big club, they are one of the big clubs, they're not, they're not Chelsea, Back off. They're not Chelsea. They're not a big club. They're a small London club. Big London club, but they're a small club compared to United, compared to Liverpool. There's no history at Chelsea. Like City. No history at City. What, they've won two titles? Yeah, an FA Cup, maybe a Cup Winners Cup. No history, son. Sorry. Big local club, not a big club. Internationally, you ain't got no history, you ain't got no pedigree like Liverpool and Man United have, and it's a shame to see um, a club like that in that situation. You know, we was in it last season, and um, we're slowly rebuilding, and that's what's going to happen at United at the end of the season. They've got to rebuild, and unfortunately, they have to do it. Well, not unfortunately. I'm looking forward to it. Without um, Alex Ferguson, they'll have to bring someone else in. Could it be Mourinho? Because I do believe, I really believe this, that Real Madrid are going to win the Champions League and the La Liga double. I really believe that. I think they're going to do it. And when uh, Mourinho does that, will that pave the way for him to go to United? Ferguson will finally retire. Mourinho will come in on the uh, old white horse charger and bring the glory days back to United. Maybe, maybe not. Or have um, United got someone else in the frame? possible. Who knows? Anyway, um, that's been my vlog. Uh, quick update, my laptop is still broken. Um, I'm waiting for PC World to give me a call to let me know how much the part's going to be for it, how long it's going to be, etc, etc. And um, I'm just waiting for them now, they're being bastards. Um, I'm going to give them till tomorrow. Well, I'm going to wait till the end of today. If I haven't heard anything end of today, I'm going to go around there tomorrow and I'm going to kick some ass because it's pissing me off that I can't post any gameplay because, uh, you know, that's what, that's what I want to do, you know I've, I've been playing some good games on Call of Duty but, you know and FIFA as well, I've got FIFA 12 now so I want to post some FIFA 12 vids but anyway guys, uh, post your comments at the bottom um, and I shall see you guys later bye bye